Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Dragondroid, and in this video, I'll show you how to install Lineage OS 13 ROM on your Xiaomi Redmi 4, aka the Redmi 4X. So, first of all, your device needs to have an unlock bootloader and TWRP query installed to install the custom ROM. So, if you haven't already, check the links in the description below. I will leave links of my tutorial video on unlocking the bootloader and installing TWRP query as well. So do check them out. So now first of all, you need to download the ROM and the Google Apps zip file. Links for both the zip files will be in the description below. So make sure that you download them and place them either in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device. So now once you have done that, open the updater application and tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select boot into recovery mode. So now the device has booted into DWRP recovery. So before proceeding, take a complete backup of your current ROM by using the DWRP recovery's inbuilt backup option. So now first select wipe and swipe to wipe. And now select install and select the ROM file and swipe to flash and now select the Google Apps file and swipe to flash And now select reboot system so the first boot into a newly installed ROM will take a lot of time so yeah just sit back and relax So now we have successfully booted into the ROM. I'll go through the initial setup process and I'll be back. So now I have completed the setup process and the very first thing I noticed is that there is a lot of Chinese bloodware pre-installed. Of course this ROM is developed by a Chinese developer so that is why there is a lot of Chinese bloodware in Lineage OS. And moving forward, I also noticed that there is no support for VOLT in this ROM, so VOLT does not work. And moving forward all the way up to the settings application, I also noticed that fingerprint scanner is also not working. Of course, there is an option to add fingerprints, but the scanner just does not recognize the fingerprints. And adding up to the not working list, IA Blaster is also not working. I tried with both Mi Remote and Zaza Universal Remote Control application and neither of them worked. And now moving on to what's working, everything else apart from the aforementioned bugs works. To name a few, the camera works, you can take photos and videos without any issues and there are no app crashes. So overall, I wouldn't recommend you to install this ROM but for some odd reason, if you still want to install this ROM even after all these bloatware applications and no support for VOLT, no IR Blaster support and even no fingerprint support, well, at least make sure that you remove all the Chinese bloatware by using some root application like Titanium Backup or System App Remover. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video, or if you found this video useful, go down and hit the like button. And for more videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified as soon as I upload another video. And I will see you guys later. See ya.